Party time! Yes, it's the uh, biggest day of the year for football fans, including one of the biggest parties of the year. Time we all typically get together with friends and family to feast and watch TV, watch the big game, of course. That's right, and there's no doubt game day is going to look a little different this time around, but that does not mean your food game can't be on point. So here to show us how to whip up some keto-friendly and touchdown-worthy bites is Mighty Quinn's barbecue co-founder and pit master, Hugh Mangum. Hugh, thanks so much for being with us. I am so excited because now I actually get to eat the food this time. So uh, what are some of the tips that you have for people who want to make that keto-friendly meal on game day? Well, first of all, thanks for having me on, and uh, happy birthday week to you. Oh, um, so I guess the, you got it. Uh, I guess you know the most important thing this year is the gatherings are going to be smaller, and if you're looking to be keto-friendly, obviously we've got a ton of stuff for you with, with all of our meats. They're all naturally smoked. Um, we typically are lower in sugar than a lot of places, so I would say, like, you know, avoid the store-bought shelf sauces that are heavy in sugar um, and just go big on the healthy, great protein. Um, you know, I think the difference this year is that the gatherings will be smaller, but it just means that you can maybe spend more on, on great food as mm. opposed to, you know, the chips and things that you dip and do with all in one's hand. So. What do we have here on this <laughs> plate? This is, is this brisket? And then tell me about the sides, too. So we've got brisket, we've got our bronto rib, we've got spare ribs, mm. wings, there are uh, coleslaw, mac and cheese. Basically, it's, uh, it's like, you know, Thanksgiving happening for Super Bowl, but barbecue style. What are these onions right here? I'm looking at the sides we have here. We've got, it looks like peppers, onions, coleslaw. How do you make them keto friendly? Yeah, so, we, so we make everything, uh, all of our pickles are made in house, um, but typically speaking, we are lower in sugar on our pickles. So essentially there is sugar in there, but it's just not at like a, a butter, a bread and mm. butter pickle. It's a, a, a much more tart uh, apple cider vinegar based pickle. So it's got all the aromatics, but a lot less sugar. We need, we need so to know again, how much exactly, sugar, how lot. much, how much sugar <laughs> exactly. We got, we got to stick to our keto thing. We need yeah, the exact. So good. <laughs> you know, if, if you're asking that question, it's kind of like walking into a Bentley dealership and asking how much it costs. Oh. You need to know you shouldn't be asking. Nice. I like that retort. All right. This is amazing. <laughs> Hugh, I'm going to keep on eating here, but this is really great. We really appreciate you making these delicious snacks for us. This is Definitely my lunch now. So, and again, as we told everyone, make sure to head to abcgma3.com for Hugh's recipes and all these amazing snacks and food. Thanks again, Hugh. Thanks again for having me. Appreciate it. Uh, Happy Super Bowl Sunday, everybody. I was at a Chevy dealership last. <laughs> 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 and I still had to ask how much the car cost. <laughs> it, but it still applies. It still applies. <laughs> if you have to ask, all right. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.